Now, uh, digital lines, PRI and BRI. Actually, the lines are very, very similar. So, both of them ISDN. Okay? We say BRI ISDN and we say PRI ISDN. So, uh, the lines uh, are very similar, uh, but uh, there are some differences. So, I will start with uh, common uh, problems for BRI and PRI, and after that I, uh, I will talk uh, a little bit about uh, differences and uh, the problems uh, that are specific uh, to BRI and PRI. The common problem. Uh, actually, the problems, many problems are related to asterisk configuration. Okay, what are the problems? When we are speaking about ISDN communication, there are two ways to dial number. Okay, one way is called uh, overlap dialing. And the second mode is called end block. Okay, what is the difference between them? Uh, the call is initiated by PBX to PSTN uh, by sending special message that is called setup. And uh, in this message we, uh, we have to define what kind of call we are going to do. So it's a regular telephone conversation or this is a fax call or this is a data call, etc., etc. Okay, depending on this information, PSTN has to select uh, interstation trunks with suitable quality. For example, if we are going, if we say we are going to make a fax call, okay, in this situation, PSTN has to make best efforts to choose only digital interstation trunks. If we are uh, saying we are going to make regular speech call, then uh, PSTN can use digital trunks and also analog trunks. Okay, this parameter is called bureau capability, and uh, actually it's uh, important enough uh, <coughs> parameter. For example, if you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, today it's uh, I would say it's less important because uh, telephony network in. Uh, uh, modern countries uh, is also modern, okay, and uh, almost uh, all of the trunks are digital and uh, they have a good quality for both speech and uh, data transmission. But anyway, uh, when uh, PBX is configured and uh, sometimes uh, if we know that call is fax, for example, call is made by FXS extension that uh, a fax machine is connected to it. We can uh, we can enforce asterisk uh, to make a call with beer capability audio. So that says that this is a fax call. Okay, a command dial of asterisk has a special parameter where you can define uh, the desired beer capability. Uh, now, uh, I go back uh, to setup message, okay, beer capability, and uh, we have uh, information element so, uh, that called called party number. The called party number may contain whole destination phone number that we uh, make to call, or just part of this number, just few first digits or even uh, any digit. So uh, a call party information element could be empty. When it's good, when it's bad. Okay. Uh, in Europe, uh, almost uh, everywhere, uh, overlap sending is used. Why? If we use uh, end block mode, when PBX user, by using uh, analog telephone device, it dials the number, okay? And PBX uh, checks uh, after each dialing 
what to do with the number. Okay? So if PBX is configured to work in N block mode with the PSTN, then the PBX is responsible to gather all needed digits. Okay, so it, the PBX should understand that if this is local call, it should wait for seven digits. If it's uh, inter-area call, it should wait for nine digits. If it is called to China, it should wait for 12 digits, etc., etc. So PBX uh, configuration uh, became to be very complicated from one side, but from other side, it doesn't uh, keep uh, PSTN equipment busy for a long time. Okay? In case of overlap sending, PBX is not responsible for anything. Okay? The user dials uh, uh, outbound line access code, just in Israel it's usually nine, in different countries it could be something else. So nine, and then it, uh, uh, PBX immediately sent setup message to the PSTN, and PSTN provides the second dial tone, okay? So the PBX user, again, dial, uh, hang off the telephone, hear dial tone, dial 9, in a second it hear another dial tone, and then it continue dialing. And then each digit that the user dials goes directly to the PSTN switch. And then the PSTN switch is detects uh, when uh, the number is fully dialed, okay? So we move responsibility from the PBX to the PSTN switch. Usually the PSTN makes this job much more better than the PBX. It's a good thing, bad thing that uh, we take uh, PSTN resources for a long time waits until PBX user will finish dialing, etc., etc., etc. Okay? <clears throat> so, in Europe, this method is mainly used in the USA and Israel. We are using mainly end block. In USA, end block only. Uh, as you know, the core asterisk developers live in the USA. So what the asterisk default and block. Okay? What happens when the Europe uh, user install PRI or BRI and uh, configured uh, outbound route uh, in the free PBX and uh, try to make outbound calls? Usually uh, he's not uh, able to do it. The call is disconnected. Why? Because uh, asterisk uh, expected to get from the PBX user the full number, uh, and then it just uh, the PBX user what uh, what PBX user dialed just nine and waits uh, until second dial tone it, and uh, it doesn't happen. Then PBX makes uh, considers that okay everything is received from the user. Let's try to make a call, it's make call with empty number or with a part of number, and that's all. Pistin rejects the call. So how to fix this situation? Very simple. There is parameter in uh, uh, chandadi.conf file, uh, overlap dial equal yes, solve this problem. Okay? This is the first uh, very popular uh, uh, problem that we see uh, in the field. Uh, 